This thing though, um, I, do, I do comedy, and with comedy sometimes people think I'm just out here to you know, push on stereotypes, which is not true. You know, I hate negative stereotypes. The one I hate the most is black people don't read. You know that one, right? You wanna hide something, hide it in a book, because black people don't read. <laughs> I'm like, shut up! Black people read, you know? The, the, the highest selling newspaper in the land is called the Daily Sun. <laughs> Guess who's buying that? <laughs> it goes to show we, we read interesting stuff. It has to be very interesting for us to, for us to read it, you know? Uh, and I think the, the, big, the big problem is people who are buying, who are really writing books right now, are not the most interesting people in the world. Think about it. Uh, Kanyimba wrote a book. Really? Oh. You know, Tabon Peggy wrote a book. I like the guy, but mm, not very interesting. You know, Tom Big's long, I mean, that's my dad's long walk to freedom was long. Like, this. It, it makes me think, who should write a book? Jacob Zuma should write a book. Do you know why? Because it's interesting. Jacob Zuma's book will have everything you want from a book. Lies, sex, betrayal, <laughs> and spelling mistakes. <laughs> Jacob. Before I go though, uh, I realize that I have petty hates. I'm the weirdest person in the world. I've got, I've got petty hates. I think the small things that I just can't stand, that I just hate. Uh, the, one thing, the one thing I hate the most though, I realized today actually, the one thing I hate the most is good looking men. I hate good looking men. And every time I say this, like the, every dude in the room is like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know. Every, I don't care how straight you are, every man has had an encounter with a man who's just way too good looking. Like, wow, really? Because I was at Edgar's, you know, minding my own business, buying jeans, right? Buying jeans, buying jeans. And out of nowhere, this guy turns the corner. And I, I, I literally, I said it, I said, wow. <laughs> like, if you, I, I, you know, that we, I, I could have thought this, but I said, wow. Everyone saw me say, wow. <laughs> and he walked by me, and I looked at him. I just, just I couldn't look away. I was like, this guy's good looking. And it was with his girlfriend. His girlfriend looked, I was like, and I'm like, oh, whatever. It's a weird moment for me as a straight guy to acknowledge that another man is, you know, good looking. It's weird for us. It, it's, it's very uncomfortable, you know. But I took a moment, I'm like, let me go pay. You know, went to go pay for my jeans. Lo and behold, who's right in front of me in the queue? Mr. Good Looking, you know. And I just stood there, you know, like, I'm, I'm not going to look at this guy. I'm going to carry on, look aside. Now there's a teller, right? Who's also a guy. And, this, and, and he, he's, he's paying for everything. You know, this guy's an ekes. And he looks at this guy, and I could tell it happened to him too. So the teller was like, <laughs> he pays and he leaves, right? And now the, the, the teller is, I can tell that he's struggling with this, you know? He takes my jeans, pays for the first one, for the second one, scans them in, then he pauses. Then he looks at me, he says, did you see that guy? Then we share him, we like, oh my God! <laughs> that guy.